Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Hanji's channel. For today's tutorial, we will discuss rational exponent and radicals. For our objective, we will write an expression with rational exponents as radicals and we will write the given radical expression to exponential form. But before that, let us recall first what is an rational exponent. So remember, in my last video, I discussed on how to simplify rational exponents. Exponent is written in rational, then the exponent of the given number variable or expression is fraction. Example, this expression we have a raised to m over n in which a here is our base and m over n is the rational exponent. So take a look at the following examples. We have negative 2b raised to 1 half. We have quantity xy raised to 2 thirds and 3 a raised to 3 fourth b. If you notice, the following expressions contains a fraction as exponent. Then, this is an example of an expression written in exponential form. So, how about a radical? So, remember that a radical is a symbol that represents a particular root of a number. Example, I have here the mth root of a, in which this symbol means the radical symbol. And the m here is what we call the index or the root. It indicates the root of the given radicals. While the expression inside the radical symbol is what we call the radical. Let us have the following examples. First, we have the cube root of x, y in which 3 here is the index of our radical expression and x, y is the radical. Another example, we have the fourth root of z cubed. So again, the index is 4 or the root is 4 while the radical is z cubed. Another one we have is square root of 5. So remember that if the index is not written in the radical symbol, it means that that index is equal to 2. That's why it's called the square root of a number, in which here the radical is equal to 5. And last one, we have the fifth root of 4f. So let us now write the given expression in radical form. So, I have here an expression written in exponential form. So, we have x raised to 2 fifth. So, to write it into radical form, remember that the numerator of our exponent will be the exponent of the radicand, while the denominator will be the index of our radicals. And x, or the base here, will be the radical. So, for example, I have here x raised to 2 fifth. If I will to write it into radical form, it will be equal to fifth root of x squared, in which the numerator here becomes the exponent of our radicand, and the denominator here, 5, will become the root of our radicals. Therefore, this is the answer. Let us have more examples. Number 1, we have 5 raised to 1 half, in which... 1 here will be the exponent of our radicand and 2 will become the roots or the index. So we have square root of 5 raised to 1. Therefore, the radical form of this one should be equal to a square root of 5. Again, there is no need to write the index 2 and the exponent 1 here. Next example number 2. So we have negative y raised to 3 fourth. So from our expression, 3 fourth is only intended for the base y, excluding the negative sign. Therefore, the answer for this one will be negative fourth root of y cubes. 
in which 3 here becomes the exponent of y and the denominator 4 becomes our index and that is the answer. Next, number 3, we have AB raised to 2 third. So again, 2 third is intended for the base B only, excluding A. Therefore, A should be written outside the radical symbol. Therefore, the answer for this one is A cube root of B squared. So again, 2 becomes the exponent of our radical and 3 becomes the index of our radical. So we have that answer. Last example, we have quantity x squared, y raised to 5, raised to 2 thirds. So in my last tutorial, I told you on how to simplify rational exponents. So in this case, we will apply the power rule in which we will distribute the exponent outside the parentheses to the expression inside the parentheses. So we have x squared times 2 thirds, y raised to 5 times 2 thirds, which is equal to x raised to 4 thirds, y raised to 10 thirds. So from here, we will now form the radical expressions in which the index is equal to 3. Therefore, the answer for this one is the cube root of x raised to 4, y raised to 10. So if you notice, the numerator for the exponent of x is equal to 4. And the numerator for the exponent of y is equal to 10. Therefore, this is the answer. Let us now move on with writing the given expression in exponential form. In our first activity, we do write the expression into radical form. So this time, we will write it into an exponential form. So I have here a radicals. We have cube root of y squared. So to rewrite this into exponential form, remember that the exponent in our radicand will be the numerator of the exponent. Next, in which 3 here or the index will be the denominator of the exponent. And last, the base in our radical symbol will be the base of our exponential form. Therefore, from here, the answer will be y raised to 2 thirds. So again, 2 becomes the numerator, index becomes the denominator, and whatever the base inside the radical symbol will be the base of our answer. Therefore, the answer will be y raised to 2 thirds. So let us have another example. Number 1, we have square root of 3. Therefore, this one is equal to 3 raised to 1 half. Remember that we have here invisible 1 as exponent of 3. That's why it becomes the numerator of our exponent. And we have here 2 as the index of our radical. So we have here denominator 2. And this is the answer. Let us have number 2. We have negative fourth root of a. So again, negative is not included. So we have negative a raised to 1 fourth. The exponent of a here is equal to 1. That's why the numerator is equal to 1. Again, the index here is equal to 4. That's why the denominator is equal to 4. Final answer will be negative a raised to 1 fourth. Number 3, we have the fifth root of x cubed y cubed. So let us simplify this one. We have x raised to 3 fifth, y raised to 3 fifth. How? Because our index is equal to 5, then the denominator of the exponents will be equal to 5. While well, we have here 3 as exponents of the bases inside the radical symbol, then we have the numerator 3 here. And since x and y has the same exponent, then it can be written as the quantity x, y raised to 3 feet. And that is the answer since it is the same with this one. Last, let us have number 4, the square root of 2ab raised to 3. So from here, let us find the exponential form of this one, which is equal to 2ab raised to 1 half. So if you notice the exponent of 2a and b is equal to 1, then our numerator is equal to 1. Then the index here is 2, therefore the denominator is 2. 
raised to 3 for the given. So, let us now multiply the exponent inside the parentheses and the exponent outside the parentheses. So, we have quantity 2AB raised to 1 half times 3. And 1 half times 3 is equal to 3 halves. Therefore, the exponential form of the square root of 2AB raised to 3 is equal to the quantity 2AB raised to 3 halves. So that is how we write the radical expression to exponential form and the exponential form to radical form. That's it for our video. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video. Bye! Thank you.